I will not be shamed out of discussing this by people who say it's slut shaming or it's not relevant. It is relevant when a young candidate tries to sleep her way into politics and into power. And that is what it appears Kamala Harris did when she was a young political aspirant in San Francisco when she had an affair with a man 30 years older than she was. She was 29 to 30 and he was 60, Willie Brown, who was like the godfather of San Francisco politics and very well known. And sure enough, that relationship paid dividends for her in more ways than one. Willie Brown was the most powerful politician in California when Kamala Harris started dating her, dating him. And she, he also gave her a number of positions. We're talking about $400,000 back in, in the 1990s. That's almost 800000 in today's money. He appointed her to those positions that paid her lucratively. So it was back when, again, she was 30 years old. He was at the time Democratic Speaker of the California State Assembly, quoting here from a Washington Examiner piece, which uh, is very good. Uh, the position that he gave her on the California Medical Assistance Commission in 1994 paid at that time over $70,000 a year, which is about 120,000 in current money. And she served on the board until 1998, so about four years. That medical commission met twice a month. So for two meetings a month, she was getting the equivalent of $120,000. And you know why Democrats in San Francisco were mad about it? It wasn't because she wasn't qualified, which she wasn't. It was because those positions are supposed to be saved for only the most prized Democrats who Willie Brown really owed favors to, <laughs> who did really you know, amazing things to keep Willie Brown in power. But instead, he gave one to his lover, 